Imagination Vice Chairman Cornell Peewee Wardy received the Oklahoma Political Science Association's 2023 Scholar of the Year Award during a conference at the University of Central Oklahoma in Edmond. There was a collection of professors from various universities and community colleges at the conference who were associated with the Oklahoma Political Science Association. Uh, the conference is an annual conference of the Political Science Association and um, the host really uh, designate what their theme may be and I think because it's uh, that was UCO and in Oklahoma it was about sustaining um, I guess the 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 communities in which we live particularly the government because you know we do have and I'm part of the faculty and, and the masters of, of public administration so I not only teach undergraduate courses in national American government, but also I teach uh, graduate classes and uh, American national government and uh, tribal uh, government courses. According to Pee Wee Wardy, the award is a scholar award. What they had in mind is um, the, the, the collective summary of my portfolio that not only includes political science, but all the, uh, the academic um, areas in which I taught in Native Studies, um, a curriculum and instruction, and, um, and, and government, tribal government, the courses that, I, that I'm teaching right now at UCO. He said the announcement came as a surprise. I was also the keynote for this conference, and I gave my talk, which uh, it was titled, The Only Good Settler is a Decolonized Settler. And so I unpacked the politics of um, of uh, tribal uh, government here in the state of Oklahoma uh, through my keynote talk. And once I was done, they surprised me with a, a very short, a brief presentation that I was not aware of. So I was really surprised and glad because many of my students were in the audience to witness this because my students only see me in the classroom. They don't see me outside in the professional uh, conferences presenting and talking and and doing um, community work with colleges and universities throughout the country. So when the award, a recipient um, has to be a faculty in the tenure track at one of the higher education like institutions that, that are a member of the Political Science Association. So that includes all the, um, the major uh, research university, comprehensive and community college universities that are throughout the state of Oklahoma. And so they designate a, a teacher, a scholar, and um, uh, student leadership and community service. And so um, the, I guess the, the merits uh, uh, involve the, um, the summary of research, which is both um, uh, published books and also uh, refereed articles and uh, numerous presentations in professional conferences uh, all over the United States and um, in Canada. His most recent out-of-state conference was in New Mexico in October. Hebe Wardy has also published a book, Unsettling Settler Colonial Education. I would like to mention that um, the, 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 the notoriety that I'm receiving, uh, it's coming later in my life, in my career, uh, because early I've been mounting uh, so much, um, um, so much of trying to get through my, uh, my degree programs um, in my bachelor's degree from Northeastern State University in, in elementary ed and my master's degree in, in uh, educational management and development at New Mexico State, my doctorate at Penn State University, and a postdoc at the University of Oklahoma. And so from that, that really is the, um, the foundation to pursue a career in higher ed. And so that was my ticket to get in to teach college courses and be on uh, tenure track faculty uh, wherever I had uh, had applied. And so right now, I'm very fortunate to be recruited to places that I thought you know would never had an opportunity to even work. So uh, it's come later in my life, and I'm just really fortunate. And I just like to tell students that are going through, I uh, just don't give up. Always continue uh, wherever you may be. I mean, just look at me. I'm working uh, another full-time job and uh, and in my retirement. So I'm not too good at re being retired. So I continue to do what I love and to pursue uh, teaching young people to be leaders for tomorrow. And I'll do it because I have purpose. 
It has meaning for me. On Wednesday, November 15th, the University of Science and Arts of Oklahoma in Chickasha invited him to speak on Native American culture and education. P.B. Wardy was hired at UCO during the summer of 2023 as its near-track professor. Reporting for the Comanche Nation, PIO News, Natasha Mercadante.